What if we could turn CO2 emitted by power stations into useful fuels and chemicals? Finding innovative ways to capture and convert CO2 emissions into economically useful resources could be a major step in combating carbon emissions and fighting climate change. But until now, one of the key challenges is finding ways to convert CO2 that are energy efficient. In our research, one exciting discovery involves using electrochemical conversion of CO2 to develop a system that can efficiently and selectively convert it into formic acid, a chemical that is widely used in industries including agriculture, pharmaceuticals, and textiles. Electrochemical reduction itself is not a new process, but previous methods have required a lot of energy to activate CO2, meaning it is not economically viable. Our new method uses a palladium catalyst combined with a polymer molecule known as PVP. Adding PVP makes the catalyst more productive, makes it work faster and keeps it working longer than other methods. As a result, our process has high potential for conversion to industrial-scale applications. Another promising focus of our research is using electricity to convert CO2 into acetylene glycol. This is perhaps one of the world's most used chemicals. But current methods of production are extremely energy intensive, requiring very high pressure and high temperatures. This process uses a different catalyst made of copper and a two-step cascade reaction. The first stage converts CO2 into acetylene, then the second stage converts it into acetylene glycol. What's more, all this takes place under ambient conditions, normal temperatures and no high pressure. So it uses much less energy and the only inputs are CO2, water and electricity. It's a bit like photosynthesis, which uses sunlight to convert CO2 and water into carbohydrates. But in our case, we use electricity instead of sunlight. Going forward, we are looking at how we can scale up these processes and work with industrial partners to develop the most efficient catalyst. By marrying these processes with renewable and clean forms of energy generation, our research could help to cut carbon emissions into the atmosphere and create a cleaner and greener future for all.